Welcome back to Living 808. There are some new things going on at the Hawaii State Art Museum, uh, and we wanted to show those to you now. Yeah, and it's ones that you can even have a hand in. So Mikey is alive there now with all the details. Hey, Mikey. <laughs> Good morning, John, Kelly, and all of Hawaii. It's our first live of 2024, and I'm so excited to be doing it right here at Capital Modern. I got Solomon Enos, he's an artist here, and I got our good friend, Karen Ewald, the executive director of Capital Modern. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, thank you for being here. Okay, super exciting. I know that there's a lot happening in 2024 in terms of you know events and music and everything. Could you give everybody kind of a, a brief rundown of what we can expect? Yeah, we're uh, really gearing up for our 2024 season. We're going to bring back the first Friday events um, and also we're changing things up on the third Friday of every month we're going to have something called the fusion Perfect. which is a fusion of different kinds of uh, musical forms. Perfect. And almost a year ago, you've had an artist residency here. Um, who are we going to be meeting today? Uh, we're so honored to introduce to you Solomon Enos. He is a fantastic artist in residence and just a wonderful artist here in the community. Awesome. Well, everybody, this is Solomon. I should, I'm going to move on this side because I want to I wanna bring you guys in here in just a second. But why not, boy? Nice. Tell us a little bit about, you know, working here at the, you know, Capital Modern. Your, your space is actually an old phone booth, you guys. So that's pretty cool. Tell us about this space and how you transformed it into kind of your quote-unquote own world. So uh, it's an awesome honor and a privilege to be here uh basically talking story with community as they come to visit the museum. I took what was a dark um, space and I painted it like an expansive cloud realm. It's almost like a sub-dimension. Yeah. And so I'm happy to be on display. I like to show people the creative process. And even um, when I'm not here, people can peek inside and they can see a living, breathing uh, creation studio. And I've got about 17 different projects all in the works at any particular time. You know, and speaking of projects, I kind of want to show everybody this. John especially, I want you to look at this John, this is kind of your own quote unquote Aquaman project. Well, yeah. I, I don't even know how to explain sure, it, but it's pretty sure. cool. And people get to check this out in person. Absolutely, so absolutely. So um, basically, I'm a world builder. I'm uh, trying to compel students and children and uh, community that with paper and pencil, you can design your own universe. Yeah. You can make entire realms. You can design your own movies, your own video games. You, um, whatever you like make, you can, you can bring it into fruition. And paper and pencil is plenty. There, yeah, that's so all the, you need. The, the, the threshold is limited and low. Art supplies are cheap, but what you create is priceless and timeless. And that's what I love to celebrate here at Capital Modern. I bet. And that mask is pretty cool. I might want to go home with that mask in just a little bit. You um, but <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll borrow it for a little bit. Um, but I also want to talk about this art piece. Sure. You know, this is something that you do um, every first Friday is you do live pieces yes. in person. And people can come out to Capital mm -hmm. Modern and check that out. Yep. Tell us about this piece that you had on the last first Friday here sure, at Capital Modern. So um, every first Friday, I, at six o'clock sharp, okay. I start painting a live uh, piece. And I don't entirely know what it's gonna be, but as I have conversations with people throughout the evening, at nine o'clock sharp, I stop. And so wherever the painting happens to be at that place, that's where it is. So this is a three hour painting. I'll be doing another three hour painting this Friday at six o'clock. And I invite everybody to come be part of the painting just by being in conversation with me. And I want to open up the creative process to help to demystify it a little bit and yeah. let people you know come on my come in come inside and come explore I love it also too why night boy I love it Karen you know we talked about first Fridays before here on living it away you mentioned it earlier you know in this interview mm -hmm. that first Friday is kind of one of the biggest things that you guys have here um, in addition to Solomon you know showcasing his talent here on first Fridays what else can we expect uh, we're really excited for this first Friday it's our first of the year and uh, we're going to have uh, the elevations come and play and also a brighter side of Saul. Um, and it's uh, always free, remember, and it's six to nine. Perfect. And if anybody wanted to learn more information, maybe they wanted to check out your website or even just follow you on social media, what are those accounts? Uh, CapitalModern.org and Capital Modern on Instagram. Perfect. And you guys, as always, we're going to have more information on KH12. Now, Solomon, I know that you've been hard at work. If anybody wanted to follow you, is there a website or social sure. media account? Um, Solomon oh. Enos. <laughs> at, at Solomon Enos. Yeah. You know what? I was thinking to myself, Universe, please give me a sign. And here it is. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's Capital Modern. If you're not doing anything this Friday, guess what? Now you do. You have. You guys are all invited to come out to First Fridays right here at Capital Modern. Karen and Solomon, thank you guys so much. Happy thank New you. Year. Happy New Year. Oh. John and Kelly, back to you guys. 
That's cool. Good Thanks, stuff. Mikey. Yeah. And I like that the public has an input. Like, you could be like, oh, maybe a little more blue there or something. That is actually really like, neat. Who knows? Maybe he'll take it into account. And for some, that'd be really distracting and kind of annoying. But this is a cool way of uh, allowing somebody to be involved. Yeah. It's like creative collaboration. I yeah. like that. Yeah.